Once you've made your copper, you can make all sorts of things from it. And here we have a cooking pot made of copper. But even this, if you look inside this, you can detect some of the green colour there. And this is the copper beginning to form well, the carbonate again by reacting with oxygen, with water and carbon dioxide. It begins to form this uh, green coloration. And actually, if we have too much copper in our diet, it's, it's poisonous to us. So it's very important when people did regularly use these copper pans to have them tinned. Somebody would come around and coat the inside of the pan with tin, which is some of the grey colour that you can see in this pan. If you didn't do that, you might sometimes get a green coloration to your food. And this book here, published in 1820, was looking into some of the um, fraudulent uses of different additives in food. And one of them that's mentioned in here is uh, when you get the green colour in certain things, especially pickles and things, to give it a sort of nice, healthy look. Um, so we put some pickles in this. We put some pickled onions into the pot. So that's almost a tongue twister there. But if I pick a pickled onion out my pot here... Well, you can see that they actually have a bit of a greeny colour to them. Okay. And this is due to some of the copper that's just dissolved away in the vinegar, in the acid of the vinegar. And it's sort of given them, well, a bit of a, a greeny colour. And in days gone by, they thought this was a nice, sort of, uh, you know, attractive, natural, green, sort of healthy coloration to them. But notice in this book here, well, a couple of things.